A very good day to you and welcome. Um, today is a uh, quite an interesting vlog. Somebody um, suggested this subject. Um, I won't use their name, but you know who you are, I think. And I want to read the question word for word. Um, he says, or asks, as a fun philosophical topic, would you ditch your film liker? for a Leica monochrome. I'm kind of guessing that you're maybe in that, you've got that sort of dilemma, perhaps, I don't know. Um, it's a question, it's sort of putting the, turning the cat amongst the pigeons in a way. Um, but the short answer is no. <laughs> Not under any circumstance that I can think of anyway. Um, that said, I've, I did own a, an M9 monochrome um, and had a lorry load of fun with it. Um, it was, you know, I always think cameras are about time and place to an extent. Um, so back then I was uh, married with a beautiful daughter and I wanted to have a great system to record her growing up and so she'd have a beautiful um, portfolio A4 box of, of her childhood in essence and in practical terms I think I just didn't have the time <laughs> you know children are you know they <laughs> you you only got so many hours in a day, um, and digital came into its own. It it had a you know it was a it was a wonderful thing. I didn't have time to develop my own film. Um, probably didn't have much money to buy film, <laughs> let alone develop it. Um, but I did you know I did shoot a lot of her on film as well. It wasn't just digital, but. There were times when digital was obviously hugely more convenient, hugely more um, just sensible, I suppose, or not even sensible. Um, but yeah, just not enough hours in a day. Um, you know, film does require a little more, um, a little more effort. Um, for me, not effort in a bad way, but just if you haven't got the time, then you know, mo then the monochrome or digital would be a lot, uh, a lot more sensible, I suppose, in 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 all respects. Um, but now, you know, she's grown up, and <laughs> she's her own person, and well, I suppose circumstance as well. You know, I, I got divorced and. Had to cut my cloth accordingly, um, but I sometimes think, would I have a monochrome today? Um, my the monochrome I had was the M9 monochrome. Um, if you know, off the top of my head, if I was, you know, if money were no object, um, or I had to buy a monochrome, then I'd get the M10 for sure. Not the not the. M9 or the M11. The M9, you know, served me well. Um, but, yeah, I think, I'd, without any doubt, I'd get the M10. Um, would I buy one if money were no object? I'm not sure. I, I, I'm i honestly not sure. I can't, th I can't even think about life without my MP, um, about film. Because that's ostensibly what I am um, maybe that's an age thing because that's what I learnt on that's what feels familiar but in actual fact I think it just comes down to aesthetic um, you know I would you know I the thing with, with the monochrome is that it's so perfect I kept on looking at those files and they just kind of seem so perfect when I say perfect I mean 
almost too perfect. And what I kept on doing time and again is trying to in break that up a little bit and inject some grain with um, with silver effects. And then in the end, I thought, well, if I'm trying to make digital look like film, why don't I just shoot film? <laughs> you know, I, it, do you know what I mean? I mean, yeah, I love I love the convenience, and it played its part definitely when I when I didn't have enough time, um, weren't enough hours in the day, kind of thing, and it was it was great for that. Um, you know, I would not want the world to exist without without a monochrome or without digital um, without digital photography. But for me now, you know, that's all I need. That's all I want. That's all I, you know, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to be rude about the the monochrome in, in any way because it was it was great. It was fantastic in that respect but um, you know sometimes occasionally I wish you know when it's very very dark or I, you know want to shoot some stuff at night then the monochrome really comes into its own you know it's it's fantastic with the with the huge ISO I shoot with that 1600 pretty much um, most of the year, two thirds of the year, three quarters of the year, something like that. So I've got, you know, I've got a fair bit of latitude there. Um, but you know, you can't argue with twenty five thousand. <laughs> I mean, easily usable twenty five thousand. So it definitely would play a part, but I can't sort of justify, and I couldn't afford anyway. Um, with all the financial changes to keep a, a monochrome that, um, you know, I was always acutely aware that the sensor may start to go. It's a very electronic camera, all these kind of things. But, you know, I, I still do occasionally think it would be lovely to have one for night photography when I'm shooting at night. Um, it it is blistering. It is extremely good at that kind of thing. Um, you know, and that, and I'm also sort of getting, a, so, you know, when you're shooting at twenty five or twelve and a half ISO, then it, it's you're almost sort of verging into that area where the files look a little bit grainy and with the m10 you know i found that the grain you know the not the grain but what would look a little bit like grain did look a little bit like film grain yeah not not didn't look the same but it was not bad it was it was actually very pleasing in its own way um so you know no is the simple answer um, without without hesitation but I'd still you know I still think the, 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 the monochrome is a is a wonderful wonderful camera in many ways hugely expensive um, just you know can't afford just can't afford one now it's as simple as that um, you know but would I ditch this I wouldn't ditch this and you know, if money were no object, I might have an M, an M10 monochrome in addition, but I would never ditch the MP. I mean, the MP just does everything for me. And yeah, if I do a little bit of night photography, guess what? I'm going to have a little bit of movement, a little bit of, but that just all goes perfectly with my sense of film and my sense that film is not, you know perfect but I don't mean that in a derogatory way I mean I like that if the fact that it's not you know perfect in that in that digital way it um, in that sort of you know sometimes you get I mean apart from that capping thing where the highlights would blow if you didn't protect them um, 
you would get fantastic you know fantastic dynamic range in a in a monochrome file um, most of the time um, obviously it depends a little bit on lighting but you'd still get a very good file um, and I looked at them sometimes and I just thought they looked almost plastic there was something plastic about them you know that perfect thing whereas the imperfect thing I think just looks more organic looks more real it has my silver halide which I'm on record as saying you know I, I'm a big fan of grain if you if you want to call it that um, so yeah no I mean I'm I'm more than happy <laughs> more than happy um, the other thing I would also say nearly forgot to say and I think it's a very for me it's a very valid point in that when I had the monochrome you know once in a blue moon when you get a, a an image that you love or that you're very pleased with and it was shot on a monochrome I invariably used to think I wished I'd shot this on film and yet when I got an image on film that I was very fond of that I was very pleased with I never once thought I wish I'd shot this on digital not once and that's kind of the difference you know that's you know plus the fact that you know like I said previously um, the yeah I could go on <laughs> you know <laughs> I could extol the values of, of both cameras and I could talk all day about about the pros and cons um, but I think the bottom line is you know I've always been a, sh a film shooter I will always be a, a film shooter that's kind of my love um, digital was a flirt I suppose it was it was great to it was great fun um, to some extent um, and it served a purpose at that time in my life um, but it's different now so I'm I'm you know I, I, I could come what may you know digital or monochrome or not I could never ever think of life without this um, that's without the MP um, just a little note as well while I remember um, I've just received the my Sumerit 50mm lens back, the, the focus ring was getting very, very loose on it. Um, and it's come back and it's, I've never had it so good. I bought this second hand um, and it's just unbelievably smooth and gorgeous again. So I'm over the moon about that. Um, no, MP, little 50, and it's as good as it gets as far as I'm concerned. So there's your answer. You know who you are. Um, and thanks for the suggestion. Um, yeah, thanks very much for stopping by and see you for the next one. Cheers.